Been talking a lot about nutrients and food as a future priority for agriculture. Now let's talk about nutrients applied to our soils to create crops. You know what? We are going to be under an increasing microscope on this topic. It began 30 plus years ago, late 80s on the East Coast, Chesapeake Bay, where we used a lot of applied chicken litter because of the huge amount of poultry production in the Delmarva Peninsula. It was a cheap source of fertility. We put it out there. Late 80s, early 90s, started hearing a lot about the Chesapeake water bay, uh, watershed and the Chesapeake Bay being polluted. The finger came right back pointing at agriculture. Now you can say, what about those fancy homes and the Kim lawns that went out and put fertility on the lawns there? Doesn't matter, it came back to agriculture. The needle moved into North Ohio, not too far from my farm in Huntington, Indiana. We started hearing about an algae bloom in Lake Erie because of excess phosphates. Who got the blame? Agriculture, probably rightly so, at least in many ways. Um, flat ground, a lot of drainage ditches, over applied phosphates go into the drainage ditches, end up in Lake Erie. We end up with an algal bloom. <clears throat> then we're talking about Wisconsin, nitrates in southern and central Wisconsin where all the dairy farms are. I was just in western Nebraska yesterday with my friend Temple Rhodes from Extreme Ag and James Patterson from Agritech USA. We did a panel presentation about the nitrates issue and how we're going to have to reduce our nitrogen uh, applications and put them out on a just-in-time basis to prevent the scrutiny or better yet to comply with what I think is coming. I believe that nutrient management plans are going to be a part of every USDA program moving forward. If you want to get crop insurance, subsidized by the USDA, you will have a nutrient management plan. You will submit these plans. You'll be scrutinized. This doesn't mean that we're going to lose crop production. It means we're going to get better utilization of the applied fertility, which is something we should all cheer on economically and environmentally. These are the things that are going to impact us. The presentation I gave really talked about less and more. We're going to use less applied fertility. We're going to use less harsh chemistry. We're going to put more out there in a shall I say spoon-fed manner, we're gonna put more out there and get more utilization because the plant will get it when it needs it. This is a win-win for the environment and our economics. There will be some adjustments and some growing pains because it's gonna change some of what we do. It is coming, I think it's coming very quickly. We're talking about nutrient management. We're talking about nutrient management plans. And what we need to do is be proactive in agriculture and do it before the regulation forces to do so. Damian Mason, talking about nutrient management and the future of agriculture and the business of agriculture.